Hello everybody, I'm Scott from Ascender Game Carrier. I'd like to take a couple minutes and go over the features of our game carrier. Uh, first is the throttle. It's a motorcycle style twist throttle. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the more pressure you put on, the faster you go. Next is the kill switch, which is right there where you don't have to let go of the handle anytime you need to shut the engine off. It's right handy for you. Next, the brake lever on the other hand. You only need one or two fingers to operate that. You don't need to let go of control your handle or anything like that. It's very sensitive, but it works very well. The carriers have removable handles. This works good for shipping, storage, and also transporting it to and from the area if you need to break it down to get it in a smaller vehicle or something like that. Next, the heart and soul of our carriers are the baskets. This carries the load as low to the ground and as close to the center of the machine as possible. This gives you an extremely good low center of gravity, makes it very controllable. Also, for on the uphill side, it makes a great shape. Nothing sticking out here where it's going to catch stuff that's going by on the edge of the trail. Next, the front bumper. This works good if somebody needs to help you up over a log or works good for loading, unloading. Also, if you're carrying a whole whitetail mule deer antelope, we put the, the back legs right up both sides in the basket, set their tail end right there, strap the body right up over. Just remember if you do that, to always tie the horns back away from the operator. All our carriers come with a toolbox. They have the wrenches for removing and replacing the handles has a screwdriver. Most importantly, it has your straps. It has four one-inch cam lock straps. This is what controls your baskets and tightens your load down. Also, when the machine is taken apart and the handles are off, they can be put through this slot and into the box. They don't need to be removed from the brake or from the engine or anything like that. It keeps everything compact and with the machine so you don't have to worry about them getting snagged or pulled or something bent or something like that. A big feature about our carriers is the safety. It's not like a four-wheeler or a horse or even putting a quarter on your back where if you know something happens, you roll over, you slip, you fall, and you got everything going down. If you trip or slip or your feet get tied up, just let it go. Just let it fall, get everything gathered up, start over again, and away you go. Also, these are very economical. I mean, if you compare them to stock, like uh, mules, horses, llamas, or arranging a packer or something like that. Uh, you don't have to keep horses through the year just to use them for a month and a half or anything like that. Also, it extends your hunting range. I, I used to be like this and I've talked to tons of hunters that won't go to certain areas. It's too far to go. If I got something down in there, I couldn't get it out. It's too steep. That's just too far. Don't be like all the other hunters and hunt you know, a half mile or a mile from the road. Extend your hunting area. There's going to be a lot more game there where there's a lot fewer hunters. The weight of this machine is about 115 pounds, uh, so it's not too hard to load or unload. On loading, we recommend putting the load toward the back for going downhill, toward the front for going uphill, even as much as pushing stuff around the front and getting it right on the front bumper. This counteracts the effects of torque from accelerating going uphill and from braking going downhill. If you're feeling a lot of weight on the handlebars, pretty much any weight on the handlebars, or if you're feeling lift when you're braking, stop and, and adjust your load. Try to let the carrier do the carrying. Next, I'd like to introduce you to our new model. This is the Yukon Outfitter. It's about 10% bigger than the little brother, our original model, the Backcountry Hunter. Um, it's built for moose and caribou hunting. I've been moose and caribou hunting. It's usually a rubber boot affair. I mean, there's a, it's a lot marshier. There's a lot of swamps, there's a lot of willow brush, stuff like that. This has a full 13 inches of ground clearance. As you can see, it's quite a bit bigger as far as carrying bigger quarters. Also, it has handle protectors. Most caribou and moose hunting is done you know, with a float plane to an area where you hunt out of a boat. This way you can just throw it in the boat. You don't have to worry about something happening to your twist throttle or something happening to your brake lever. You just put it in the boat, when you get there, Everything's ready to go, everything's fine. So the weight limit of the Backcountry Hunter is 250 pounds. The weight limit of the Yukon Outfitter is 400 pounds. But as I said, both these carriers have been tested to twice those weights. I appreciate you taking the time to watch our video. Good luck hunting and thank you.